look at this wonderful place just here near the central part of Malaga. You guys should come and check this place out. Okay, you guys, day two in Malaga Central, Rocky Earth Guy here. So I am just at the Roman Amphitheater. We're gonna take a quick look inside this area. It's free to attend. And then there's a really cool walkway and we'll go and check that out in a minute. But let's go inside first and I'll show you around. We're going to go down to the marina today and onto the beach and then I'll probably grab a bit of lunch out there. So let's check out the amphitheater first. Beautiful day here in Malaga. Pretty warm. It's about midday, about 12.30 and uh, it's already super busy. It is a Sunday, so uh, I guess everyone's out meeting friends and family so super cool okay let's uh let's have a look down this bit here first and i like what they've done here because they built this area where uh you can actually get into the amphitheater and just have a little wander around and it's pretty massive and if you look up there you can see the Alcazabar. Really cool. Okay, let's continue on the walkway around. So the Alcazabar is up the top. And the other place worth checking out, if you're here, is the Gilbrafero Castle. Now that, that's on a hill. And I mentioned it in the video yesterday. And to get to that one, you can walk up the hill or you can simply um, get a taxi up there. Because it is quite high up, um, but probably a taxi up there and then walk down is probably the best way to go. In the meantime, let's check out this uh, amphitheater. This is really cool. I mean, check this out. Imagine what it would be to perform here. As a singer, or maybe as a gladiator, or maybe something else. Very nice. And kudos to the Malaga City Council here that, who've done like a really good job to keep the place intact. Uh, it's, it's free to visit this part. So, you know, it's really great that people can come and experience this and um, learn a bit about the history here. Really, really cool. Oh, actually, you can walk in that bit down there as well. I think I'll go that way, actually. Let's have a look. There's a map and layout of the building here. Check that out. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And maybe as I just pan around, I'll just read this bit out. The theatre building, the theatre itself was, which boasted excellent acoustics, consisted of a series of tiers which would have been covered by a portico. Opposite stood these Asena of the same height as the seating area. From the beginning of the first century, when the theatre was built, its proscenium played host to the theatrical performances, primarily, primarily mime, as well as political and religious events. The scene building provided a magnificent stone backdrop comprising of a facade, a facade, how do you pronounce that? Adorned by the Valva Regia, the central door, and two Valve Hospitalia, its lateral counterparts. This theatrum 
appears not to have featured in the portico, usually found at the back of a stage in buildings of this type. So, there you have it. What an amazing place. And let's just have a look down here. You can see where the main stage would have been. Right around here. I guess the bit we saw earlier was the, maybe where the, uh, the backroom staff were getting ready for all the performances. Okay, so, what we'll do is uh, let's just continue around. There's another walkway here. Uh, let's go and see this bit here through the tunnel. And then what we'll do is let's go down to the marina and uh, let's go and check that out. Really cool. Okay, so just heading down the stairs here. I wonder if you, you can sit up there. I did go up there last time. And sit up the top. A bit of that's in the video yesterday, but that was shut yesterday. We're just coming out onto the entrance where the Alcazabar is, up there. Good to be back here. And uh, you might remember this from my uh, previous video that I did about three years ago. Like, what a difference now. Like, check it out now compared to what it was like a few years ago. I mean, it's absolutely heaving here. So what we'll do is let's continue and I'm going to walk down to where the uh, marina bit is. It's really busy, there's loads of tours taking place as well. And uh, you can book them on various websites, TripAdvisor, do one. There's a tour taking place here. Check it out. Maybe I could just like tag along and like watch them. Listen to them. It's in Spanish though. That looks like the dock bit. There's another cruise ship over there, which is where I'm going to walk towards. And you can see the lighthouse, which was also in one of the other videos that I did. And here you've got a really cool sailing boat. God, look at those masts, they're massive. Gosh, that must be like 100 feet up, maybe a bit more. Hey, it's pretty awesome. And some really cool yachts there. So there's loads of restaurants and places to eat dotted along there. So what we'll do is Let's, uh, let's walk that way. So I'm just outside Chap Express on the corner and there's a market here. So let's have a quick look around and uh, check out some of the goods here. Really awesome. Check this out. So we got some uh, ceramics, plates and goods. These all look like they're handmade. Really cool. And I was speaking to one of the guys earlier and he said that uh, this market is actually open every day. So if you need some like hand graved jewelry, uh, with your name on it, for example, you can come along here and get it. And look at these cool posters here. How good is that? Um, so you got pretty much everything here. You've got some clothes, You've got little Lego characters as well. You've got Gremlins, Pac-Man, Star Wars, Yoda, and you've got a Mario collection, Yoshi, 
Bowser and some Marvel characters as well. Like pre-made Lego. Like Lego's awesome, I really do love Lego. It's brilliant. Lego's awesome. Okay, some more shops here. That one looks quite popular, selling jewellery and hats. Some women's clothing. And this guy's really cool. Um, he's actually making all the fans uh, by hand. Check this out. All handmade fans. Really nice. And hand painted as well. If you want a unique fan, this is the place to come to. We've got some leather goods here, wallets, jewellery, and uh, more women's clothes. Okay, let's continue. We've got um, another leather shop here, selling wallets and bags, and a jewellery shop as well too. Very nice jewellery. What I'll do, I'll probably swing back later and then pick up some stuff. Okay. So that is the market just on the corner of where Chap Express is. Let's continue round. Um, and as I mentioned, that market is open every day, seven days a week. So if you need some stuff, come and check it out. Okay. So let's go and see what kind of shops there are down this bit here. Let's start here, Hard Rock Cafe. All right, let's have a look at this. This might be good for some lunch later. Yeah, I could come back here. And that is the Hard Rock Cafe. Right there on the corner. And then you've got the rock shop next to it. And then on the right hand side, there's the market. Okay, so I'm just at the corner of where the marina bit starts. So what I'll do is um, just flip the camera around. Uh, let's walk towards the lighthouse, which is this way. And then I'm gonna cross over onto the beach. And then I'll either head back this way or grab some food along the beach. I haven't been to this beach here, in Malaga Central before my first time, so I don't know what's up there. If there's any restaurants or cafes, I'm sure there is, but let, let's head that way and then we shall see what we've got. Okay, there's a really cool lounge bit up there. If you guys can see that up there. But that is really cool. It's like a custom, uh, custom shop, look at that guy. Jeez, well, I guess Halloween's coming up. Got a lot of Halloween decorations up there. Absolute legend there, Diego Maradona. Oh, there's another one as well. Lionel oh, Messi. Okay, let's continue. It's an optical shop. And some sunglasses. Oh, this is cool. On the left, you've actually, on the right here, you've actually got some more uh, stores here, more women's clothing, really cool dresses for the beach. And then if I just spin it around here, you've got like a Italian restaurant and you've got Burger King and KFC as well. There you go. Everything you could need. All right, so let's carry on walking down here. It's like absolutely heaving down there. Um, I think I'll walk on this bit and then I'll uh, I'll show you the, uh, the seafront bit in a bit. Miniso, Starbucks, Bell Rose, you've got it all here, pretty much. Okay. I think people will come here just to meet friends and family and hang out. So it's a pretty cool place to do that. You've got more uh, little shops here. Some stalls set up with uh, cool stuff. I'm just going to extend the rod up here. There we go. Hopefully you guys can get a good view from up there. Primor, Koala Bay. Mirror, mirror. All right, let's walk down here. Beyond archives. Yeah, I'm really liking these stores here. They're selling like absolutely everything. Heads of jewellery. Okay. 
It's like an antique one here. <coughs> How cool is that? Antiques of Spain. We've got Kiko over there. Makeup Milano. Right, what I'm going to do is let's just show you the sea bit here, then I'll come back onto this side. Then we can continue down. Make sure there's no cars come in. Okay, so this is the seafront here. If you guys can see that. And you can see the uh, cathedral in the distance. Here it is. So that's pretty much where we've walked from. And up the top there, you can see a bit of Alcazabar Castle. There's the Bellaria. So we're on the, uh, the sea bit here. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice walk here. Reminds me a bit of Gibraltar, actually. It's a bit of Gibraltar like this. This is really cool. Okay, let's go back into the market bit and then we'll carry on. Okay, Jose Carlos Garcia shop. There's a Lacoste shop. Yes, you could do a bit of shopping out here. There is another video that I've done that just, just shows the shops in Malaga Central. So if you are coming here for just shopping, then uh, you can check out that video. But I guess you could do a bit of shopping here as well with all these street market stores. Look at that. God, they got everything here, loads of jewelry. I think this is all handmade as well. Baby clothes. Greater plates. Check out these greater plates here. Wow. Plato Velado greater plate. Check it out. Some handmade jewellery here. Wow. Beautiful. All right, so there's a few more shops here. Pharmacy, Candy Sweets, Candyland Sweets, Cool Beauty, Oterios, Oterios. I've not heard of a lot of these brands. There's LA Hop again, the famous cow. You see that there? My favorite shops here, more stores. Oh, I wonder if this is, this bit's just a Sunday bit off there every day as well. What I'll do is I'll come back and have a closer look It'd be good to pick up some presents. I always like a bit of handmade jewellery. And uh, it's good for the people to buy the local produce, the local arts and crafts. And, uh, you know, it helps the economy out. Actually, it's some really cool uh, bracelets here. Oh, really cool. Maybe I might come back to this one in a bit. Okay. Dykeman, Nam Nails. All right, so this is a restaurant bit here. Restaurant Brazza. There's just loads of them. There must be about 20 down here. So uh, if you're looking for somewhere to eat, this is the place to come to. Toro. Cool restaurant. Awesome steak there. And I'm just coming up to the lighthouse bit here. So uh, let's check that out. Just outside the uh, lighthouse here, you can see it on the left of me here. Pretty massive. And I've come from the area where all the restaurants are down here behind me so this is the intersection bit where the beach starts and with a bit of luck if i go that way i'm gonna hit the beach which i completely miss and i was here a few years ago okay so here is the beach bit and uh, this is really cool so it's just basically where the lighthouse is so if you come to the edge of the 
Porto Marino. You got this beach here. How cool is that? So we've got all the history, we've got all the culture, all the museums, and then you've got a beach on your doorstep. Look at this. They got the old. Uh, it's a bit smoky. Jeez. They got the old uh, wood burning there. So I'm just going to walk this way down past the restaurant. There's a the first restaurant there on the beach. It's pretty busy today, and here is the beach. Oh my god, how cool is that? That's really cool. So you could be walking around, you know, just strolling around the museum, and then a short, what, 10, 15 minute walk, and you're on the beach. I think that's brilliant. And the beach here is, uh, let's see, oh, it's called Playa de la Malagueta. Hopefully you can see that on the sign. Mala, Playa de Malagueta. Okay, so there's some facilities here on the beach. You've got um, showers. I guess because it's Sunday, you've got quite a lot of people out and about. There's a volleyball court here as well. And you've got loads of, um, you've got the ham hammockers, hammocks, sun beds, and uh, everything you might need for a day on the beach. Okay, I'm not gonna go straight down the beach because I've got my stuff on. But let's head back to the promenade and then what I'll do is continue down as far as I can go. As far as I can go for a one hour video. Right. I'm not gonna jump back up there. I'll just take the stairs. There's a grassy knoll here as well. So if you don't wanna get your Self all sandy, you can just sit on the grassy knoll bit. There, yeah, there you go. How beautiful is that? Beautiful palm trees as well. Actually, I'm going to film those bit here. I'm just going to stop the video and go and film the palm trees. Okay guys, just in uh, Malaga Beach here. And what I'm gonna do is continue down. I'm gonna go and try and find a restaurant with uh, some gambas al pimpin, which is a famous cuisine, prawns in oil, along with some bread. So uh, let's continue this way and let's go and see what we find. Okay, so uh, we've got some more beach area and carousels. There's a uh, Jorge Gulen statue here, just so you guys have a landmark, you know where I am. And let's continue this way. Let's see what we find. Yeah, this bit's completely new to me. It's amazing that you could be in such a historical place and then you walk 10 minutes down the road and you've got all this stuff on your doorstep. Actually, that looks like the marina there. I could have taken the shortcut where all those bars and restaurants were and just gone along the residential road here. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Uh, so it looks like if you go that way through one of these side streets, you can get to where all those shops and stalls were so yeah 
just a good shortcut if you need it. It's another Malagueta Chiringuito restaurant. There you go, it's what they serve. Actually, I'm gonna find a restaurant here and then go and have a bite to eat. So I don't know if we're in a different beach here, but here is a sign. Oh, I think it's the same one. 1.2 meters. 1.200 meters. That must mean it's 1.2 kilometers long. I'm assuming it is. And let's continue down the road. And this is really awesome. You've got loads of apartments on the left hand side, some cocktail bars, and you've got all the beach area. On the side, there's little stalls dotted around here as well. So if you need to hire an umbrella or maybe hire a football, there's a little shop just a bit further back where you can do that. And uh, the beach area has a little, there's like a little playground there as well. And this is actually a really awesome walk here. Let's continue. I'm going to go as far as I can. And... Uh, so you guys get a sense of what's here. Oh, this restaurant looks really good, this Chiringuito. I mean, it's really busy. It must be good, right? It's absolutely heaving in there. Jeez. It's like a mariachi guy there as well. Check that out. Singing a song. Very nice. I don't know if he was a mariachi guy, it's just, just a Spanish guitar guy. There's a massive queue out there as well. All right. Chiringuito Sisu. Sisu is the place. All right, very popular. Loads of people there. Oh, there's a really cool Malagueta kind of sand sculpture there. All right, I'm going to go and check that out. I gotta get that on there, it's a bit. It's not a bit cheesy, I don't know. Oh, I gotta get it. Come on, let's go and get it. Malagueta. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, I'll tell you, this beach is rocking, it really is. It's a cracking beach. This is really cool. I wonder if I can get someone to hold the camera for me for a second. Uh, yeah, could you hold the cam? Could you hold this? Uh, yeah, just. Yeah, if you just hold it there. <laughs> All right, welcome to Malagueta Beach. Look at this wonderful place just here near the central part of Malaga. You guys should come and check this place out. Thank you. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you. Do you want me to take a photo? No, thank you. Yeah? All right, thanks. Lovely beach. There you go. All right. All right, let's go. Dang, all right. Those guys were cool. I got my selfie stick, very nice of them. All right, let's continue around. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is, let's try and get some good light here. I'm outside another restaurant. This one's called um, Cocina Traditional Andalusia Beach Hotel, uh, not hotel, restaurant. Um, let's continue around and let's keep going. I think I can walk along this bit here, which is a bit more on the beachfront. And uh, let's continue around. This place is awesome. Check it out.
Right, the good thing about this beach is you can walk straight down along this promenade bit and it looks like it goes on for miles. I mean, it goes all the way around there. And there's something in the distance there. It looks like a massive structure. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. It's in the distance. Maybe it's another lighthouse there. Um, but as far as the beach goes, it looks like, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is part of the restaurant bit here. It's like some kind of party going on there. It is, yeah, yeah. Party going on. It's like party town. Um, as I was saying, there's a bit that goes around. It looks like maybe some kind of jetty area or something like that. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is just continue going. Let's go as far as I can. Maybe the video is going to be slightly over an hour. I don't know. But uh, let's just go as far as we can. And uh, you guys can get some awesome views of uh, the beach. Lovely. Right, there's another restaurant here. Let's see what the name of this is. I have these boats started everywhere with the uh, grilled food, fish, prawns, beef, you can get it all out here, chicken, tapas. So these all look a bit busy. The time is about 1.45 now. So this place is called Chiringuitu Tropicana. Tropicana, Tropicana. So check that out. Another place to eat. Let's continue. Down. Oh, that guy was going really fast on that bike. There we go. Chinguita Tropicana. And right on the edge of the beach. So you can sunbathe, go and have a bite to eat and then back on the beach. What a brilliant way to spend a day. I can't think of anything better to do than that. some more sights and sounds in. Okay guys, so I'm still on the uh, Malangueta beach. Check it out. It's really awesome and uh, it's just spectacular here, it really is. Loads of people out, it's a Sunday so uh, that's what you'd expect people to do on a Sunday, hit the beach. Right, let's continue down the promenade and uh, let's see how far we can get. Cache latte on the right hand side and uh, got the old barbecue going, which is awesome to see. And that guy's just making some sardines. That looks like a cool place. It looks a bit posh in there. Actually, I just need something a bit more simple, like a cafe, but uh, it's pretty popular. God, there's a massive queue up here as well. Okay, let's continue. I don't need something that flash, I need something simple. Um, and, uh, oh wow, this is the jetty part coming up there on the right. So what I'm going to do is probably head up into the jetty part where I can walk out. Looks like there's some people fishing over there in the distance. And then what I'll do is probably head back. No idea how far my hotel is. Might be an hour walk. So we're coming up to the jetty part that goes out into the sea, into the water. So what I'm going to do is try and find out how I get onto that bit and then just walk down. There's another restaurant just over there and probably take a break here and just chill out for an hour or so, grab some lunch, grab a bite to eat, grab a beer and then I will continue 
my journey. Okay. Oh, here's a map here. Playa de la Caleta. I'm on a different beach now. And uh, let's see where we are. Oh, I think I'm here somewhere. I'm just there uh, where the uh, jetty bit is. And I don't think I'm going to walk much further than this. I think I need to head back afterwards. There's a little tuck shop here. Got some crisps and sweets. Um, and let's hang it right here. How do I get onto that jetty? I think I have to cut across here and then go left and then turn right. There's a little gym here as well on the corner. People want to have a bit of a workout. Okay, here is the jetty part here. And there's a walkway in the middle, so let's just walk down here. Little children park. Playa de la Caleta. One mile. Or one kilometre. There we go. It's beautiful here. It's really wide in this bit. I guess it's where one beach ends and the other one starts. And there is a lighthouse in the distance. Maybe you guys can see that. That's where I walk from. And there's the Porto Marina part. And if we look that way, it's the other beach here. It seems a lot quieter here, that's for sure. Okay guys, so I've made it to the uh, jetty. Here it is, it's absolutely spectacular. And it's where the two beaches intersect. And I think I'm gonna call it a day there. It's been an awesome walk. Hopefully you guys have lasted till the end. So what I'm gonna do in the next video is head back into Malaga Central and then uh, Go and see some sights and sounds there and check out the culture. So do tune in again. Hope you've really enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe. Rocky Earth right here and I'll see you guys soon.